Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss AI and machine learning superpowers. Okay, if you guys remember in the previous lecture, we went through a couple of best practices and um, as well a couple of uh, advice for you guys to succeed in this course. We also covered how to get uh, help and ask questions and also how to receive the certificate of completion. Okay, so the next question is, what is AI and what is machine learning? So artificial intelligence and machine learning do not only mean sci-fi movies and robots. Machine learning applications are essentially everywhere around us. So for example, when you guys check out your email and you have your spam folder, what's actually happening behind the scenes is that there is a machine learning algorithm that is trained to classify various emails to either spam emails or normal, regular, or what we call it ham emails, like good emails. Another example as well is Amazon recommender systems. So whenever you guys buy a new product on Amazon, Amazon will recommend another product for you as well. And what's happening behind the scenes is that there is a machine learning algorithm that is trained to make wise recommendations for you to maximize, of course, conversion rate. Also, Google search relies on machine learning and AI behind the scenes too. And of course, when you guys deal with Siri on your Apple phone, or if you're using Amazon Alexa, all of that is based on artificial intelligence and machine learning as well. Another example is the auto tagging features in Facebook. So if you guys upload any picture, for example, of you to Facebook, you will notice that there is a facial recognition algorithm that runs behind the scenes and is able to detect your face and propose for you the um, uh, who will be in this picture. Basically, it's what we call it automatic tagging feature that is offered by Facebook. And of course, there is a massive revolution happening right now with autonomous cars and self-driving cars. These are cars that could drive on their own without the need of having a human driver behind the wheels. And of course, this will going to revolutionize the uh, transportation as we know it as well. And all of that is powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning. Okay, so the question that I get a lot, which is, is AI really powerful? Like how powerful is AI? So I've included a video for you guys here um, from Facebook Research Group. And basically this, this uh, video just show you guys the power of artificial intelligence. So what you guys notice is that now this is an AI that is able to predict all these different elements. So it's gonna tell you that this is a microwave with 95% confidence. This is a person with 100% confidence. This is a bowl, for example. This is a bottle, refrigerator, and it's doing that on a pixel level and it's doing that in real time. And please note that these AI models, this is just a scratch. This is just the beginning. This we're just scratching the surface. What you guys see here as well is that AI could be able to perform what we call it the pose estimation. So it could estimate the pose of humans so it can tell you where their hands are, where their legs are as well. And of course, what you guys see here, it's doing pixel level segmentation. So it's segmenting the scene here on a pixel level. And I just wanted to show you as well the bounding boxes that is coming up next. So, so what you guys see here as well, these are different objects. There's a backpack, there is chair as well, there is suitcase, and it's pretty accurate. And this is simply the bounding boxes, so it can also draw a bounding box around the object. Here is the, cement, the, here is the pose estimation that I mentioned as well. And this is the pixel level semantic segmentation too. Okay, and this is a great book that I highly recommend that you guys read uh, if you guys are interested in this crazy new field, which is AI and machine learning. And the book is entitled AI Superpowers, China, Silicon Valley, and the New World Order. Okay. So the next question is, what is the difference between artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning? So artificial intelligence is simply the big umbrella. That's the big thing in here. This is the green circle. And within AI, 
or artificial intelligence, a subset of that field is machine learning. And then a subset of the machine learning is what we call it deep learning. And please note that you guys might have heard these terms quite a lot and you don't fully understand what is the difference between AI, ML, and DL, or artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. So let me show you guys that in great details. So artificial intelligence, from a very high level, it's a science that empowers computers to mimic human intelligence, such as visual perception, like vision, decision-making, and text processing. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, is that AI or artificial intelligence is the broader field. This is simply the big umbrella that contains several subfields within it, such as machine learning, computer vision, and robotics as well. What about machine learning? So machine learning is a subfield of AI. So as I mentioned, if you guys go back, machine learning is just a subset of AI, which is the big major field. And machine learning enables machines to improve at a given task with experience. And please note that this is the key word. Whenever I say experience, when I say experience, that means with more data set. The more data that you have available, the more the machine learning algorithms and models will be able to improve at a given task. So it's through trial and error and more data and experience. And please note that it's very important to understand that all machine learning techniques are classified as artificial intelligence ones. However, not all artificial intelligence could count as machine learning. Why? Because you might have some sort of intelligence, such as what we call it rule-based engine, and that can actually have some sort of intelligence, but it does not learn from experience. It doesn't learn or grow over series of iterations or over trial and error. And therefore, they do not belong to the machine learning category. Okay? All right. And the final field is what we call a deep learning. And deep learning is simply a specialized field of machine learning. And it relies on training of what we call it artificial neural networks. So the overall idea of artificial neural networks is that we try to mimic the human brain. So we open the human brain and then we essentially try to understand how the human brain works. In our brain, we have hundreds of billions of neurons. And these neurons communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. And they help humans and empower us to talk, to speak, to see, and all of these amazing skills. For example, as I talk to you guys right now and as I teach this course, in my brain there are hundreds of billions of neurons that are processing information and helping me see the slides right now and also teach them as well. And what we try to do when it comes to deep learning, we try to mimic the human brain mathematically. So we build up a huge massive networks that contains thousands and hundreds of thousands of these neurons and these are the black circles in here and then we connect all of them together like a human brain but all of that inside the computer okay and please know that the deep learning has been revolutionizing essentially the that field and essentially what you guys see with Siri with automatic um, uh, facial detection, facial recognition, all these tasks are built on the deep learning. And this field has actually taken off around 2015 timeframe. So it's quite recent and quite new. And please note that we're going to touch base on deep learning and deep neural networks in great details in the future. Okay. All right. So that's it. That's simply all I have for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next lecture, let's go ahead and show you guys my machine learning big picture. So please stay tuned. Best of luck. And I'll see you guys in the next lecture.